Namaste. Welcome back. Um, today I want to share with you a practice that is a little different from the normal asana practice, the physical body practice we do with yoga, but it's actually something so important and it's something that we can all do, we can all learn, we can all practice and it has the fastest effect on our body and our nervous system, our autoimmune system, in our endocrine system than anything else. There's been hundreds of years of scientific research done into this and it can be proven. And before that, there's lots of ancient traditions that have used this practice as well. So what am I talking about? Breathing, simple breathing. We come into the world and we first thing we do is breathe in. And when we leave the world, the last thing we do is breathe out. Something very natural that we do all the time. But it's something that in the modern society, with all the stresses, we are not doing correctly. So through this little class, this little demonstration, I'm going to show you three different breathing techniques. Very, very simple breathing techniques that can change your life. Basically, what we want to do is activate our parasympathetic nervous system more because all day we're activating our sympathetic nervous system, our flight and fight mode, um, which is our adrenaline fueled stress response. And when we breathe quickly and we breathe in our chest, we are stimulating this. Imagine, for example, if someone was coming up to you and they wanted to fight, they wanted to punch you. What would you do? You would inhale sharply, you would clench, and you would probably guard your vital organs, or maybe you would clench your fist, ready to fight back. So, what does this trigger in your body? Your sympathetic nervous system, right? It makes you feel anxious, makes you feel stressed, it makes your mind start to race. And when we're breathing in our chest, we're stimulating this all the time. Our body can't cope with constantly being in this state. So imagine our sympathetic nervous system response on the other hand. Imagine when somebody you love hugs you. Ah, you breathe out, right? You sigh of relief. You release into that person, you open your heart, you physically feel relaxed and peaceful. This is your parasympathetic nervous system. This is when you can rest, re um, relax, sleep, and digest your food. It's really important that we tap into this more. So this brings me to the first exercise that we're going to look at. And um, this is a balancing breath. I think it's really interesting to use this with meditation. Um, has anyone ever tried, just decided one day, right, I'm going to meditate, right, sit down, clear my mind, and then, like, oh, thoughts bubbling up. No, clear my mind. Ah, crazy thoughts. Start to get agitated. It's the opposite effect than to relax it for you, right? Anyone? Probably, probably. So, when we focus on our breath, instead it gives our mind something to work with, something to focus on, and it relaxes our body instead of our normal fast breathing that's making us feel more stressed. This is going to enable you to meditate. And you can use it any time of day. You can use it at the office, you can use it at home watching television, you can use it in your yoga practice. I actively encourage you to use it in your yoga practice. And it's never going to be bad for you. And it's as simple as breathing in for a count of four, and then breathing out for a count of four, two. So, we're just going to practice this. Sit comfortably, lie comfortably and relax your shoulders, close your eyes, and breathe in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, 
three, four. And in. Two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. And in. Two, three, four. And out. Two, three, four. And relax. Easy, natural breathing. Notice how you feel. Do you feel more grounded? Do you feel calmer? How does your body feel, your mind feel? I really think this is one of the most powerful things that you can do to just come into yourself, ground yourself, notice how you feel, and to feel really well, to allow yourself to feel really good. Um, many people think that CO2, CO2 is a really negative thing. It's like the waste product of the breath. But actually what we're doing when we're breathing slower is increasing the CO2. And CO2 is like a doorway in our body. It actually helps to open up our blood vessels, our capillaries, our veins. It's really beneficial in that way in that it allows us to absorb the oxygen. So when you breathe like this, slower, deeper into your belly, you're able to absorb the oxygen and get more oxygen into your muscles and into your bloodstream. And Obviously, oxygen is our life force. This is what we need to survive. You shut it off for a few minutes and you're dead. So it's incredibly good for our entire physical body, our cells, our mind, to be breathing slower, to be able to nourish ourselves, nourish ourselves. Cells and cells. <laughs> okay, so the second one I'm going to teach you is so beneficial as well like this changed my life when I learned this um, basically when I was at university before I was a yoga teacher I was very 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 stressed I was studying I was working full-time I was partying a bit too hard I was drinking I was barely eating I was very very underweight and I was practicing a lot of physical activity as well and of course my body was struggling really really struggling and I wasn't sleeping and I was getting these crazy heart palpitations feeling like my heart was going to burst out of my chest um, I was feeling like my heart was skipping beats sometimes I was having tests done and obviously it was to do with my lifestyle choices that using this breathing technique I'm about to share with you stopped the heart palpitations when I started getting an attack. I could literally calm it down just with my breath. It stopped the um, lack of sleep, like my um, nights spent laying awake thinking, if I go to sleep now, I'm gonna get three hours sleep. If I go to sleep now, I'm gonna get two and a half hours sleep. You know those nights where you just can't sleep? This cured me of that completely. It helped me to become more mindful and it helped me to feel less stressed. It's amazing. It's something I would recommend doing only when you want to really relax or to go to sleep because it does really slow down your heart and make you feel very sleepy. Certainly don't do it if you're about to get in a car or something. Um, and it's just an elongated exhalation. You're going to breathe in for a count of four and breathe out for a count of eight. So find yourself in a comfortable position again, lying down, sitting down, relaxed, close your eyes and breathe in. Two, three, four and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four and out. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in. Two, three, four and out. 
closed a moment, check in with your body, check in with your mind, and just notice quickly how you feel. This is something you can actually measure your heart rate before and after doing it and see how dramatically it slows down your heart. If you continue doing this, it will make you feel very sleepy. Um, I would say practice for about 10 rounds, 10 breaths, and you'll probably fall asleep or continue practicing until you do fall asleep. Um, and like I say, only practice this one when you want to be in a very relaxed, very sleepy kind of moment. So the last one we're going to look at is a little bit different because this one's gonna stimulate your sympathetic nervous system. It's gonna rev you up, get you ready for the day. It's like taking a big old shot of espresso in the morning or taking pre-workout or a workout. It's incredible, um, but very, very powerful. I would say practice this one less than the other ones, uh, very sparingly, only when you really want to get yourself going so you can have it when you normally have coffee, when you normally have pre-workout, when you're feeling very sluggish and you want to wake yourself up. This is incredibly powerful and I use this all the time before a workout. Um, I give myself a few rounds of this and I feel great. Um, I can replace coffee with this and I can feel fantastic. Uh, sometimes I rely on coffee because I like it, but this is just as good as stimulating my mind and waking me up. And as a little extra positive, it's really good for your core and your abdominal muscles. You feel like you're getting a core workout. So this is a fast breath. It's in the yoga practice called Kapalbhati, or in modern English, it's called um, rapid breath or fire, or fire breathing, or just rapid breath. Um, it depends who you ask. I've heard it called all three things. And basically what you're going to do is force an exhale very quickly uh, by pushing your diaphragm and your abdomen in. And then as you relax, you're gently going to breathe in. You don't need to focus on the in-breath. And you're just going to move your core. You're just going to move your diaphragm in and then relax. And it's like a pumping movement. You're not going to move any other part of your body. I don't need to move your shoulders. And it's all through the nose. All of these breaths through the nose, better through the nose. Okay, so I'll show you how it's done very quickly. And then we'll do it together. So you take an easy breath in, close, and you will close your eyes, but watch me now. So take an easy breath in and... You see how my abdomen comes in like a pump? And it's like, I force the air out, I pull my stomach in, I release, and the air naturally comes back in. I naturally inhale. So we're going to do a few pumps of this. So take an easy breath in, close your eyes, and when I say one, you're going to force the breath out. When I say two, you're going to gently relax and let the air back in. Okay, so gentle breath in. And one, two, 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 one. Easy, natural breathing, and you should feel that you're more stimulated after that. That was just 10 pumpings very quickly. Um, I would say only practice 20 pumpings at a time, 20 breaths at a time. And like I say, just when you really want to stimulate yourself and get yourself revved up, pumped and ready to go, I challenge you to um, choose some cool home workout video and do this first and see how you feel doing the workout. Please don't over practice it because you will start to feel dizzy 
like I say, 20 pumpings is plenty to start with. If you do feel dizzy, it's enough. Stop, stop. You shouldn't feel dizzy when you're doing it. Okay, so they are the three breathing exercises I wanted to share with you. I really, help that, I really hope that they're helpful for you. I really hope that you can incorporate them into your life. Like I said, they changed my life being able to practice these. And I really hope that they help you and they change your life as well. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, um, subscribe to my page if you want to. You can also follow me on Instagram, Namaste Natasha Yoga, and you can ask me any questions you have on there too. Until next time.